first of all, everybody had a foreign accent except the one white guy, McClintock, who was up there saying, I'm the only white guy here, I play golf. I'll keep the Mexicans out of the DMV. Then they had the, uh, they had Cruz Bustamante trying to play that Mexican card. He's like, yeah, and this is me, Rasa Holmes. I will give all illegals a driver's license a free low rider. I'm local like you. I said, then that Ariana Huffington from Greece, she spent the whole time going after Arnold. She's like, are you sexual deviant, Arnold? And I was like, Ariana, I can't believe you're talking to me like this. I came to this country with only my muscles and I became a millionaire. I am from Austria. I am from Greece. I am from Mexico. I'm from Orange County. What we need to do, we need to do like England where the parliament gets you up there and you just throw stuff at you have to handle it. That's the only realistic way, you know? Like be like, Mr. Schwartz, what about unemployment? What about health care? What about education? Shut up. You also shut up. All of you are not kidding. Shut your mouth. <laughs> See, that's the thing about me. I don't choose to be an impressionist, but my impressions are masterful. Fantastic. Oh, nice. Fabulous. Thanks, guys. What <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> Last night was the uh, Cali debates. So, uh, you know, we had the, the Democratic debates are coming up this tonight. What do you think? Who do you like? Well, Colin, uh, Ben and I don't know who any of those guys are. I'm going for Al Sharpton. Yeah, Al Sharpton. That's, 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 that's the right. name. That's the same way. So Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton. That's well, the same well, way. no, because Al Sharpton is not in this one. I don't think is he? No, he's in the one tonight. Oh, uh, yes. he's in California. I thought this was California. That's, um, that was just my great monologue. But now we're in the uh, Democratic. Democratic. So he's right. yeah. yeah. You tried to catch a stupid on that one, but you did. <laughs> you did. Colin. I'm right are you? I just heard three applause for Al Sharpton. You're gonna say, "Come on, Al! Come yeah. on, baby, Al!" Yeah. No, no. Here's my biggest problem with with black leaders. All right, black people don't choose them. That's oh. right. White people choose them. Uh -huh. We didn't choose Al. Y'all choose whoever y'all hate the most. How come? <laughs> Why? Stick with Al. Stick really? with Al Sharpton. He has a perm. Now this is dangerous being in New York. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why you gotta stick with him. In my opinion, if you're black and you're a real black person, you go with the only black guy. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's, that's how you take it out. You, you sell out. That's, that's your very, problem now. That's very broad. You that's very broad. Huh? That's very broad-minded of you. That's how I feel, Tom. Stupid. <laughs> now listen. Don't you think, uh, what do you think? Dante, you really, you're going to vote for Al Sharpton? I got Al, too. Uh, I, think, oh. uh, I think that black people, got to, we have to pick our own leaders, like what Patrice said. When they, uh, so why do you have Al? I like Al. I, why? Because he, like, he, he, he had a part in Malcolm X. He's, Al Sharpton oh. is not a leader. What about Farrakhan? He'll be a better president candidate than, than Al. Oh, Jesus. No, yeah. no, no. Oh, Jesus. No. There's a lot of Jews in the audience. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bottom line is, let's face it, if, you, if we're going to be real about this, I'd say maybe if I give total credit, one of you four is registered to vote to begin with. That's a You got to, you know, even though I don't go for the Republicans, man. If you're going to go, I got to go with Gary Coleman. I got to do it. You got to go with Gary Coleman. But it's true. You guys don't like to vote. You know why? Because you see it as a white thing. It's just like when any black people, whenever there's a red light, they got to cross against the light in front of the car because we invented traffic lights. And you know, like... Oh, actually, you didn't... You didn't you know, that's right. right. That's right. And the first heart plasma. That's right. That's right. That, did you? And the peanut. That's right. The time is, <laughs> here's what... Hey, look. First of all, black people always uh, believe in conspiracy theories, right? Right. And the fact that the, the guy who's the president now had less votes than the guy he beat means oh, why yeah, would we vote yeah, anyway? Yeah, totally we believe, it don't matter. It really doesn't. He gonna and steal it anyway. He gonna steal it. I mean, why should I get out of my bag and go vote? For what? I didn't vote for Bush and he's still the president. Still the president, you know, because his brother <laughs> Don't you guys get more Florida. pleasure out of saying, I don't vote anyway, it doesn't matter, than you would have actually, you know, being enthusiastically in the stupid voting process. Yes. Hey, I voted. What's your point? It's either way. It's either way. I, I voted in the stupid. Let me say difference. one. Let me say one thing. When I was watching the de Democratic debate last week, I'm looking at Al Sharpton, who I, of course, despise like any self-respecting white person. But I said, this guy's the only one. Uh, wait. Uh, let me finish. I love Bush. I bet you love Bush. Oh. No, but, but I saw him up there, and I was like, he's the only one with personality. All he the is. poor white he guys. Is. Don't you realize what's happened? Because you bastards started 
busting up all second guessing us on every move 40 years ago. <laughs> now everybody jumped on your bandwagon. We're walking around the Twitch. Second guessing you on what? You oh, jumped up on your teams of lynchings? You, you did it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying this. I'm saying you really give us a Twitch. I hope you're happy. Now we can't even leave the country anymore. We're like, uh, 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 I, I, get, I, get, I get a Twitch that's every time all. I get pulled over. I mean, that's Oh, Jesus. Jesus. You're right. Man. I mean, <laughs> all those scary racist cops. Oh, that of course. When's that going to yes. die? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, they are. They, I know a lot of cops that are old. That's what oh, they're talking about. Well, one white person one day admit that there's racism. What are y'all trying to do? They're, Just say it's racism and we'll agree with you on everything else. We'll admit. It's all that to I'll it, tell you man. what. There's we'll no admit, racist cop. We will admit it's racism if you just give us a date. When are you going to stop hollering racism? Even if it's eight years from now. Okay, oh, let's not talk about that. Just give us a date. Give us a date. We can say the same thing. Hey, oh, we can give us a date. We can say the same thing about the Holocaust. We can Thank say the same you. Thing. Oh, wait a minute. Easy. Wait, you got to show. Wait, 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 you got to show, wait, Flex. Who cares? Let me handle this. I'm a loser. You're on TV. Don't do this. Don't say Holocaust. Just give it to me. Listen. When are we going to be able to say the Holocaust was this many years ago? All right. Get over it. I'll tell you. Well, since you guys had ended in, what, 1865, why don't we say, oh, I'll even keep it up to 1960 if you want to go for the Jim Crow thing. Okay. 1960, Holocaust, I don't want to hear it again. You hear us talking about the potato famine ever? No. <laughs> you and the Jews need to shut up. <laughs> In Germany, Germany, Germany denazified Germany. Yeah. You still got the rebel flags hanging up in, in, in the South today. So when they start to de de dixify the whole country, then we'll stop big well, beefing about. It's true. De dixify. De dixify. Like, yeah. I like that. That's, 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 that's the word for the day. That's a new word. Don't they have a new word? De dixify. But I'll tell you something. It's true. They do have a couple of rebel flags up there. Uh, as opposed to when I walk through Times Square and hear those stupid Israelites who you guys probably love saying, let's kill Whitey. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not racism. Uh, that's not racism because they don't have the power. Uh, uh, when they see them street power, you guys are phonies. Can I say something about the Holocaust, about black people and the Holocaust? And the, the, Holocaust, Holocaust the, the Holocaust, the Holocaust, Holocaust. Holocaust. If black people had one face to call the leader of race like of slavery, like because it's too broad, we just hate too many of you. If y'all, if you just made like one dude with a funny mustache and a big bike, like he was the dude that made slavery, we'd be like, all right, we hate him, and then we can move on. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's very smart. I'm telling you. All right, look, we're going to a commercial, believe it or not. <laughs> but we're going to come back and oh, we'll be right back to these direct appeals aimed deep into the heart of your wallet. <laughs> Dante, if you hear the word de-dixified in your life, remember it started right there. I'm still right. de-dixified. I'm still not right there. Word. Now, speaking of de-dixifying, spell it with me. NBA star Tracy McGrady said in Maxim Magazine that 5% of the NBA is gay, and he's seen incidents with his own eyes. <clears throat> well, we all know it's not Kobe. Mm. Now, I think that there are gays <laughs> in every business. <laughs> we're looking at, we're looking at <laughs> But in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this true? Do you think it's 5%? is actually gay? I don't know. I hope not for the simple fact not. that my views would probably change on the game because I would start questioning it. Like, I wouldn't be able to think that a foul was just a normal foul. Like, that's a gay, <laughs> that's a gay <laughs> right there. That's, that's probably gay right there. But that's why I just watched the WNBA because we know they all lesbians. It ain't no mystery there. It's <laughs> 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 the best part of the game is the subplot, right? <laughs> but what do you guys think? Uh, do you think there's a lot of gay guys in the NBA or no? I never thought about it. I really hope there's not. Yeah, I hope not. Exactly. But the NFL had these little things. They, they, you got to wait till a few come out and be like, oh, I right. couldn't take showers because I thought I might sell up a little bit. <laughs> all, all I'm saying is how many white models do you have to sleep with before you wake up one day and think that uh, Patrick Ewing is attractive. That's what <laughs> He's got a point. Well, they get bored with women. I think, women. That's it. I think if Dante played ball, I would think Dante was gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about the shirt. I'm talking about the shirt. I'm just talking about the shirt, Dante. <laughs> Dante wore that shirt. That, that is a, basketball that is a shiny little gay jersey, you <laughs> <laughs> I was questioning the jersey, Dante. Oh. 
shit. Oh, man. When I was growing up, that was like the Puerto Ricans would wear that shirt. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, that's Somebody has to come out the closet. That's as simple as that. That's the only way. Because no one's come out the closet, and they because you can't even blend in. It's like the NFL, the, the, like the, the left tackle can be a sissy, but nobody can keep just yelling, the left tackle's a sissy. It's just too much of a team sport. Right. But like, it's, if, you know, one dude, man, at the line, you a sissy, you a sissy. And he's just like, man, you know, stop it. You, you know, it's just, it's too, it's too little. It's like a gay golf. It's just too, it, you're too, too cohesive. You know, like, right do you guys have any personal gay experiences, sports growing up that you'd like to talk about? Well, I need to get I was four. Yeah, well, look, four. I didn't take a shower because my Jimmy wasn't like long enough, so I wasn't gay. I didn't get turned on. I just left early because I didn't. I wasn't hanging low enough to like you know take a shower with the rest of the guys. Yeah. Well, you know, William Stevenson used to tell me when they played street football in his neighborhood and they play tackle, you know, like in the park or something, one guy would stick his finger up William's butt when he's trying to play. Ooh. Wow. Well, Jesus, Colin, never, when did that? <laughs> I don't know. But, is that is that de dixifying? <laughs> now, this is this may need to be de dixified, by the way. This next one. A New York Times, Sunday New York Times, which I know you guys can hear less about because it's not handed out by a five percent Muslim that just came out of jail. Um, but there's a new trend where all they say all these black dudes are on the down low. They say the DL where they're going to gay bathhouses but they don't consider themselves gay. Now what the hell is this? Do you guys know about this? Wow. wow. Yeah, you know yeah. what? You know what? You, Why do you think we're experts on this gay issue? We don't know. <laughs> Why is Jim David on the show? <laughs> you really are coming at us with a bunch of questions. And I'm going to question that toupee on your head. Because I really don't think that that's your hair, Colin. I really do. I don't think that's Colin's hair. And I'm about to snatch it off on national television. I it doesn't move. move. It's, 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 pressure, it's pressure on, on every black segment of society to keep it real. Even sissies. That's right. Yeah. White people can go around being flamboyant and and, and we gotta still be like, where is boy, son? <laughs> Pop me in the butt cheeks. <laughs> Yo. But whose fault is that? Your own. That's... Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I don't know the an answer. I know I want to blame white people, but I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think, now, when you guys were growing up, I'm saying, didn't you always think a guy wasn't gay if he let some gay guy b him, but the guy that b was gay? Where did you get that from? What is that? What is that? Here's a question I wrote myself. Whoa. Is there any group or combination of humans that you brothers won't break out the beef for at this point? Colin's <laughs> <laughs> coming at is wrong. I'm, Colin, you know, I'm starting to think you're racist and gay. And I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> it's nothing worse. Listen, it's a combination. It's nothing worse than a gay racist. <laughs> and I let some things slide, Colin. Like when you wear corduroys and your back pockets touch, I don't say nothing. When you got to... Like, I let it go, you know, because I don't know. That means you have no ass. But you're really coming at us right now. Shut up. It's kind of rough. You guys really? I, I, I'm not coming. You want us to admit that we're gay? We're not gay. No, I don't admit that you're gay. I mean, Dante got but, that shirt on, but he ain't gay either. I know it. Now, we don't know per se, per se. We do. Yeah, you're right. Dante's too strong. Now, I want you to hit me. Nobody can look me down. Hit you after the show. There's no gay black pirates in society. <laughs> All right, ready? Wait a minute. Dante, Dante is going to beat them senseless. He's, he's, he's a dangerous dude. He's my he's, friend. He's not, a, yeah, he's not playing games. Why don't y'all have a tag team wrestling he's, match? Oh, shut up, stupid. Shut, shut up. up. <laughs> All right. Hush. Okay. Oh, boy. Wait, Wait a minute. I'll shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have any beautiful people, we'll be here. You'll be right back in the <laughs>
First, you get there early in the morning. First person you meet is the young production assistant, an enthusiastic innocent, usually. You excited? <laughs> it's six in the morning. What are you? Uh, uh, what, I don't know. No, I'm not excited. All I'm doing is three lines in a stupid show. What are you doing? You're just a call sheet girl. What? But just, you, you just what? You're meaningless. You're like your phony. Beat it. Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just trying to help her, Colin. <laughs> he really believes he's trying to help her. And you people are saying, oh, we made up the she dialogue. She was being a phony. That was a nice version of what he said. It was six her. in the morning. Hi, I'm a young <laughs> She's not excited. All right, next up is one of the actors. Hey, man. How you doing? We're doing a scene together. I'm Jake. Hey, dude. Do you, uh, <laughs> you want to run some lines? For what? What, so we can go over those dumb jokes that we just read? What do you want to do? Is that why you went to acting school? So yeah. that you could be a stupid delivery boy with a paper hat? Hey, man. That's what, you're useless. You might as well keep it on. You suck. <laughs> Beat it, Jake. <laughs> I'm just joking with Jake. I'm, I'm playing around with Jake. Jake, I'm playing with Jake. This is how he is everywhere. I'm playing with Jake. Anybody think, well, it's a racial or cultural thing. Okay, let's say the show star showed up. Hey, man, how's it going? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, everything's cool, but that script, that sucks, man. What's going yeah, with that script? That's the thing, you know? Not with a brother like you, you know, we can make it more, you know, make it seem more like, like, like the hood, you know? Well, these, these white writers, they can't, you know, they can't write us realistically. You know? Oh, yeah. We, we you gonna do improv, ghetto? You, you're about as ghetto as Urkel. We, where are you from? You're not even real. Tennis lessons are more ghetto than you. What is wrong with you? Come on, man. You gotta get out of here. You make the Dean Hardison look like 50 Cent. Stop making the fuck. Playboy, I'm just messing around. That was. I'm messing around with him. Hey, yo. Come you really? I'm messing with him. That, that was not scary enough. You gotta be. For, come over here. I wanna show you something. The future. Man had real talent, man. He was my idol coming up, man. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> Shut your trap. You know, honestly, I'll beat the ball for these asses, and I mean it. I'm dead serious. I'm not even playing. You see, Patrice, your friends can't believe you died. They're very sad. You died of poverty because nobody wanted to do a show with a 300-pound angry you-know-what. But you can change, Patrice. I want you to change. I want you to walk over to Rich Corson, our executive producer, right now and say, hey, thanks for having me on the show. Call me courtesy. Hey, what's up, Rich? Hey. And hey, thanks for being the only guy in show business with a goatee. That's real original. Ugh. He sucks, too. What? What? Wait a minute, folks. Me and Kevin talking. All right, we all say we want good people to run for president. Wait a minute. I'll just throw a spear at me next time. Gotta go. Oh. You look like a little Bushman. What's the problem? Oh. How, how is that racist? Jesus. He just spoke to England. Uh, listen. He should be banned from television for that. The fact that y'all laughing shows how racist y'all are. This whole audience is racist. I'm marching on y'all tomorrow. I swear to God. I'm marching on Tough Crowd. Al right up. Al Lamar. Me and Al Sharpton. Al Lamar. Oh. Oh, so Great, now they're going to cut this because you're going to scare all the white people in charge of Congress. Good, good. Oh, all right, folks, we all say we want good people to run for president, but what we really want are good-looking liars. Promise things we know they can't deliver so we can throw them out in four years. Pick someone to run for president and tell us why. Patrice. I picked uh, David Blaine, the magician. <laughs> Because he, he can make the world so much fun. Like, he could go, hey, pick a terrorist card. Any terrorist card. Hey, you'll be amazed as I pull a duck with oil all over out of my hat. Um, <laughs> nothing. Watch as I make, watch as I make missiles and Arabs disappear. Ta-da. Um, <laughs> and follow my pendant. I willingly gave Kobe some ass. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That's well, you good, though. I like it, but How about you, Kev? Uh, you know what? If I wanted anyone to be president, I would want it to be Shaq. Because Shaq can do whatever the hell he wants. Shaq can call the UN right now and tell them that he wants to bomb France. They're going to say, but why, Shaq? They didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't like the basketball team. I think the basketball team stinks. I want to drop a bomb on them. I want to dunk it. I want to do it. <laughs> well, Shaq, if that's what you want to do. 
I want to do it. <laughs> that Shaq ate his balls. He called me with that Shaq. Oh, you think this Shaq is gonna be good? Yeah, can How do you try to make my <laughs> It's true. He just, he just tried to make mine see his vomit. He wanted to take all of his vomit and put it all on me. <laughs> okay, next is Flex. So for me, it would be uh, P. Diddy because he get the young people involved and they would listen. Everybody would be real jiggy, real fly. The cabinet would dress nice. The Secretary of Defense would probably be Loom. <laughs> he get his band, all jobs in office, and get on MTV and shoot instead of making a band, making a presidency. It'd be like that. All right, Dante. All right. Dante. Mm -hmm. all right sure. uh, I choose Jennifer Lopez. Um, thank you. Let me finish. So uh, born poor in South Bronx, even more amazing. A, a Bronx-born Latino girl reaching her 14th birthday with no kids. Call Ripley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. Oh, that is our show. If you see my hat, thank you, baby. Throw it in the ring. Right. Good night, everybody. Tomorrow.